Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. This week we have an updated server node developed for the Dell EMC PowerEdge FX2 chassis. I'm talking about the Dell EMC PowerEdge FC640 server node. The FX2 and FX2S chassis support a few different server node form factors, including these dual socket half width FC640 units. The FX2 chassis is a converged infrastructure platform designed to easily scale as your business needs change by adding modular components to increase compute, memory, and storage. Let's take a look. The Dell EMC PowerEdge FC640 is ideal for highly virtualized workloads, anything as a service, and both private and hybrid cloud deployments. It's also a great choice for database applications offering high compute and storage density in a 2U platform with support for up to four of these dual socket FC640 half-width server nodes. And you have more options with the ability to pair your FC640 with other server node options like the FC430, FC630, FC830, and the FD332 storage block offering terabytes of storage. Another module that I left out but is designed for the FX2 is the FM120x4 designed specifically for the FX2 chassis. And I did a review of that one, and that you can see here. While this video is about the FC640, you may have noticed that I added in the earlier server nodes like the FC430, the FC830, and let's not forget the legacy FC630, all powered by the Intel Xeon E5 2600V3 or V4 family of processors. The FX2 and FX2S chassis are backwards compatible with the previous generation server nodes. With that in mind, and before we get too deep into the FC640, let's see the FX2 chassis or chassis. On a side note, have you ever considered that the singular and plural versions of chassis are spelled exactly the same? Anyway, I will mention that we have already looked at the FX2 and FX2S chassis in relation to the FC630 and FC430 server nodes. You can check those videos out by clicking one of these links. But here's a quick refresher. But before we get to that refresher, are you interested in the Dell PowerEdge FC640 server node? Because if you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the price of a system listed on our site at $2,500 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. One more thing I should mention, the FX2 and FX2S chassis are purchased separately, and IT Creations has those too. <laughs> and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. There are two FX2 chassis. The one without the S is the unswitched version with no PCI slots. It offers a cost-effective alternative to the FX2S, which supports up to eight PCI slots. The FX2S automatically maps a specific number of PCI slots to the installed server nodes, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Both are converged infrastructure chassis with power, network connections, management, and cooling handled at the chassis level, while the server nodes provide compute and storage. It's got eight high-performance cooling fans and one plus one redundant power supplies, including 1100 watt, 1600 watt, and 2000 watt options. The FN IO module located on the left side of the chassis is specifically designed for the FX2 chassis with no PCI slots, enabling simple network deployment and management. They can also be used with the FX2S, and you can choose from either switched or pass-through IO modules to attach to your network or vSAN. A chassis management controller or CMC is designed specifically for the FX2 converged infrastructure system. It's located above the FN IO module slots and offers several management functions for individual and groups with the ability to daisy chain up to 20 chassis together. A control panel on the front left of the FX2 chassis has a system identification button, power on, a row of LED diagnostic indicators for at-a-glance status, and a KVM select button to map the KVM to a specific server node for at-chassis management. For managing the system, the integrated Dell Remote Access Controller, or iDRAC9, is available for automated deployments, updates, and configuration. OpenManage provides another layer of management with the OpenManage Enterprise Console featuring custom reports plus automatic discovery of hardware assets. The embedded chassis management controller is found on all FX2 chassis and offers individual or collective management of the system through a browser-based interface. Performance on the FC640 is definitely improved with those Intel Xeon scalable processors supporting more and faster memory speeds. In fact, using Gen 2 Intel Xeon scalable processors, you can achieve the top memory capacity of two terabytes without purchasing the special CPUs with an M suffix. Standard first-generation Intel scalable processors topped out at 768 gigabytes for a grand total of 1.5 terabytes with two processors. If you want to support the full two terabytes, then you would have to use those M suffix processors from Gen 1 supporting 1.5 terabytes each, or just go with a set of standard processors from the second generation that supports up to one terabyte each and two terabytes with dual processors. I should also mention the second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors also have suffix enhanced versions, including the new Gen 2 M suffix processors, which support two terabytes each. But even those don't hold a candle to the L processors, which support like 4.5 terabytes. 
We don't have any of those L processors, and there's no need for them on this platform since it maxes out at two terabytes with two processors. There are other suffix enhanced processors in the second generation that are designed for specific applications. That said, the standard second gen processors will do the trick and are designed for these unique applications where you have eight memory module sockets per processor and only six memory channels. The old one plus one plus two configuration. Memory will run at speeds of up to 2933 mega transfers per second, again using second generation processors, or a maximum of 2666 mega transfers per second using first generation processors. Supported memory includes registered and load reduced memory modules. There are eight memory module sockets per processor for 16 total active slots with both processors installed. Like I said earlier, if you really need to maximize that memory footprint, then you will need the Gen 2 processors. If you already have the Gen 1 processors, then maybe just 1.5 terabytes is looking pretty good. Two 2.5 inch storage bays on the front of the chassis support either SAS, SATA, or NVMe drives using a universal backplane. With both drives installed, it will support just under 13 terabytes of storage total. Additional storage can be added using the dedicated PCI slot beside the memory module slots for an internal dual SD card module that can be used by iDRAC for storage or to support a hypervisor. Or you can use that same slot to install a boot optimized storage subsystem or BOSS. The BOSS is a PCI card that supports two M.2 NVMe storage devices in a hardware RAID for redundancy and can be used to support the operating system. I mean, you could just go with the two drives in front to support your OS and those are readily accessible, but what's the fun in that? If you want to attach more storage, say through the FD332 storage module, then you will need an optional storage controller like the PERC H330 or H730P. That last one supports a maximum of 255 SAS or SATA HDDs or SSDs. You also have an option for a host bus adapter with the HBA330 for VMware vSAN environments. You can also install a few other network daughter cards offering 10 gigabit ethernet in either a two or four port module. Although the FX2 chassis offers a cost-effective option with the FNIO modules on the back of the chassis that automatically maps to the ports to the server node sleds based on the width and type of FNIO module. In similar fashion, each compute sled also is allocated a certain number of PCI slots with the FC830, a full-width chassis, getting four of the eight PCI ports, half-width sleds like the FC640 get two ports, and the FC430 getting just one port, hosted in the FX2S chassis as the FX2 does not have any PCI ports. If you do install an FD332 storage module with up to 16 2.5 inch direct attached drives, those PCI slots reserved for the front base slot will be distributed to other installed server sleds. The Dell PowerEdge FC640 server node offers high density in the FX2S chassis. Outfitted with four of these server nodes, that's up to eight processors for a potential of 224 cores of processing power paired with up to eight terabytes of memory in a 2U chassis. And you have other options with the FC830, FC630, FC430 server nodes, and the FD332 storage node. The FX2S and FC640 server node offer superb flexibility and expandability with an easy to manage modular converged infrastructure, allowing your business to scale easily by adding more server nodes to an existing chassis or installing partial or fully configured chassis. IT Creations has this server and many others in stock right now. So check us out on itcreations.com. If you have any questions on this or any other server, just post them in the section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.